typical cell was with 16 bunks. Heike Ahonen walks the corridors of the Pottery Prison, where thousands of political dissidents were held during Estonia's Soviet years. He spent almost five years of his life there, accused of anti-communist agitation. Now a museum depicting the abuses of the Soviet regime, Pottery welcomes visitors with a sign that says, communism is a prison. Its aim is to warn new generations about life under a totalitarian regime. For Ahonen, the memory is still fresh. I think the most distinctive thing is a smell, a smell of uh, dirt, sweat, blood, and fear. Soviet system was just humiliating. The generation that lived through communist repression does not want this past to be forgotten, especially now with Russia's invasion of Ukraine reviving that threat. For Milis Maripu, a historian behind the Victims of Communism Memorial in Tallinn, the behavior of present-day Russia is similar to that of its totalitarian past. Today's Russia are taking uh, different parts from his history, from Russian Empire period, from Soviet period, to build up a new picture and through this new picture to find the excuse to dictate his uh, wishes to his neighbors. While some Estonians consider the Soviet past a time of temporary occupation that should be treated separately from the nation's history, others say it should not be ignored. It is tricky because this period is quite close to us. Uh, and in some ways it is very different. And in some ways it is quite similar too. We, need to tackle it as our own past as well. It's, it doesn't help us if we only say that it's a foreign past. Estonia has been one of the most vocal European nations against Russia's invasion of Ukraine, declaring Moscow a state sponsor of terrorism in 2022 and expelling the Russian ambassador the following year. As Estonian leaders see it, if younger people are to understand what is happening in Ukraine, they must learn about Estonia's Soviet past. It's important that the young generation, whether they are Russian speakers and Estonian speakers in, in Estonia, can interpret what Russia is doing right now in Ukraine. Because the interpretation is important. What does it mean? Estonia shares a 300-kilometer border and centuries of turbulent history with Russia. With the war in Ukraine still raging, many Estonians fear Moscow may be trying to resuscitate the Soviet past. For Ricardo Marquina in Tallinn, Marcus Harton, VOA News.